So I was showing this laser off and um, I think it was Jerry that was asking about this tube that kind of runs down the middle of it and might be easier to see with the off. You can see there's a little glass capillary tube um, that the laser beam is kind of concentrated in. That is actually gets it back to uh, modes again. Um, for a good laser, they want just to have a single mode. So they want to attenuate all those uh, other modes um, so there's not multi-mode, so you get nice Gaussian distribution out. And that little capillary tube is sized just right so that it acts like a single mode fiber. Except that it, instead of glass, it's got an air tube that the lasers yeah. go through. So that's why they put the tube in. It's not a dunkel after all. <laughs> that's pretty wild. And does it have to have very precise alignment? Does it have any... Oh yes, everything has to be really precision aligned, the, the glass tube itself. And you can see at the end here that there's a little metal, um, they call it a spider, and that's to support the tube so gravity doesn't you know, pull it down, so that the laser doesn't have a preferred orientation, or, uh, up or down. Um, another interesting thing about helium neon lasers, this is uh, a diagram of the energy states of the electrons that, that get pumped up um, to generate um, the laser light. And I don't know if you can read the text, but what you can see is all these different lines. And the, 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 the diagonal lines are the preferred lines that the, the electrons want to jump down. And each one of those lines produces a different wavelength of light. So this line right here is the 632.8 nanometers that a helium neon laser generates. But what's interesting is that there's a whole bunch of other colors in here. There's some, some blue lines, there's some um, yellow lines, or it's orange lines. There's you know, a lot of infrared lines. So a helium, helium neon laser could be made to generate you know, uh, uh, yellow light, or, or I'm sorry, not blue, but green light, um, if you wanted to. Um, Would you have to change that capillary tube, or? I think there's probably a lot of things you have to change. You, the reason that you only want to select one line is because any other lines that are lasing are going to be, um, let's see, which camera? Um, you only want one line lasing because any other lines that are lasing are stealing gain um, away from the, the, the preferred line. And so they do a lot of stuff to try to suppress those other lines. So they use mirrors with um, very um, um, wavelength specific coatings on them. Um, sometimes they'll put absorbers of, of the wavelengths you don't want into the laser cavity itself. Uh, I don't know if the capillary tube itself um, has anything to do with that. They might need to size it just a little bit differently so that it's single mode for that particular wavelength. But I thought it would be really cool if we could somehow figure out how to mm. convert a laser tube from red into a green one or yellow one. I don't cool. know if it's possible though. Can you commercially buy a red and green one? Yeah, well, the, the, yeah I've seen green and yellow ones um, like in Edmund Scientific, but they're pretty spendy. <laughs> they're probably very specialized. Hmm.